This next story is definitely going to touch your heart, get your tissues ready. It is a tearjerker. Six years ago, a stranger gave the gift of life to a then two-year-old South Carolina boy. And since then, the two have spoken by email and phone, but they've never, ever met until now. Here's Clark Foraker tonight. At airports worldwide, journeys begin. We need a sky cap. People come and go, and journeys end. It's full circle, you know? It's, it's, it's Jacob's journey finally coming full circle. Jacob's mom, Wendy Rickman, remembers when the journey started eight years ago. He was diagnosed with severe food allergies at six months old. And then he was diagnosed with kidney issues at seven months old, diabetes at eight months old. Um, just everything kind of spiraled downhill from there. Then 13 weeks at MUSC. No one at MUSC had ever seen anything like it. After countless hospital visits across the nation, finally a doctor in Seattle diagnosed Jacob with IPEX, a deadly immune disorder that had only been seen in 50 kids worldwide. So our only chance was to have a bone marrow transplant. A global search of donors found a match in a young German man. Only two years old, Jacob called him Angel Stranger. He said, I'll I'll do it, and the doctor got him, and they drew blood from his hip. Tell me about That blood went from Andy Assar to Jacob. The angel stranger changed Jacob's blood type from A positive to O positive. He saved my life, because I was almost going to die. Six years later, a jet taxis toward the gate at Charleston International Airport. <laughs> On the other side of one of those windows, the angel stranger who let the journey of life continue. Being able to hug someone who saved my son's life is a miracle. Andy flew from Germany just to see Jacob. He was 21 when he made the choice to donate in hopes of saving a life. Yeah, that's what he said. That he, he wanted to do that. That's why he signed up. A translator will help Andy during his first trip to the States. He wants to really do a lot of time with Jacob. And, um, he wants to spend almost all his two weeks, you know, really to get to know him and, he, and Jacob to know him. And they've got big plans. Show him around Charleston, um, take him to the Carolina game, and do a lot of stuff. Two worlds finally collide. This is literally the man who saved my child's life. In the start of a new journey together. In Charleston, Clark Foraker, News 19, WLTX. Great story. Really Super. is. Yeah. I told you, a tearjerker. Yeah. Andy's going to spend a total of two weeks with Jacob. And they do have tickets to the big game tomorrow. <laughs> Williams, Bryce, and all kinds of other activities planned before Andy goes home. And you can't uh, say enough about Andy. You really can't. And yeah. it's so easy to sign up and join the Bone Marrow yeah. Registry. Obviously, we encourage everybody to do it because Andy in Germany sure. saved this child's life in Columbia, South Carolina. That. Amazing. Still ahead for you now.